When disassembling a fiber scope, pay attention not to damage outside parts, break, and loose parts. How to disassemble operating section? First of all, remove the forceps channel valve. Remove the ring from the holding cover with a dedicated spanner. Extract the holding cover. Then let us explain how to disassemble connecting portion of the angulation wires. Remove the guide cover first. Remove four screws, disassemble top and bottom wire stoppers. Make sure not to mix screws because several kinds of screws are used in the scope and they are dedicated to each part. Turn the sleeves of up-down and right-left wires to be disconnected from the drum wire assembly. In case of turning the sleeve, make sure to pull out wires towards you as little as possible. Next procedure is to remove the plate upside and another one downside. Each angulation wire and the drum wire assembly can be separated through these procedures. Disassemble four sleeves from the guide to release angulation wires. Take care not to have wires folded up. Remove the cover rubber from the FSA, that is IG flexible section. Loosen the ring which secures the FCT, that is a forceps channel tube. Move the taper ring delicately to take out FCT with no damage. Remove the sleeve and the taper ring from FCT. Peel off the nameplate, paying attention not to damage the side cover. Never apply such solution agent as keton or something, as material of operating section is plastics. Remove two screws. Insert a screwdriver into group of the side cover and pop it up. Apply the same procedure as FCT on removing AWT, that is air-water tubes. Desolder the grounding wire from the base. How to disassemble IP section? Detach the IP assembly rotating counterclockwise by some 70 degrees. Remove the ring used for sealing. Remove two screws. Extract CGA that is a cover glass assembly deliberately by feeding wire solder to CZA. Remove the iris.
loosen the set screw and make sure the image guide is released by pressing it lightly. CZA extracted should be returned to the original position. How to disassemble LCM, that is light guide connector main assembly. First, remove the sleeve. Loosen the set screw. Remove the S connector with a spanner. The ventilation connector can be disassembled using the dedicated tool after loosening the two set screws. Extract the connector body carefully without applying excessive tension on the wires. Loosen the two set screws and remove the guide. Make sure the guide can be extracted smoothly. How to remove the LG light guide? Connect a guide tube as a jig to the light guide. Arrange the inside of operating section so as to extract the light guide easily. Take out the light guide slowly with keeping the LG flexible section straight. The jig tube remained inside of the LG flexible section, so-called FSB, can be used for reinsertion of the light guide. Disconnect the guide tube and the light guide. Extract the image guide towards the distal end with a full care of broken fibers. Reassemble. Let us explain how to assemble DAT, distal end tip assembly. These are parts composing DAT. How to insert the light guide? Clean the end surface of the light guide and insert it to the bottom of the tip. Press the tip against an anvil or something and bond the light guide with alon alpha. Reassembly of air water tube. Attach the air water tube. Prior to attaching the tube, Fitting parts should be cleaned with solution agent. Expand the mass of the tube slightly with JT31175. Insert the tube onto the fitting part halfway. Put some aradite on the sleeve and insert the tube to the end with a sandpaper. Reassembly of forceps channel tube. When attaching the FCT, use a guide rod. Apply enough araldite. Insert FCT to the end with a sandpaper, same as AWT procedure.
reinforce bonding strength by winding the thread around the FCT. Tie the thread tightly and cut it, taking care not to damage the FCT. Apply enough halodite on the threads. Rotate the FCT and insert it to the end. Focusing adjustment. Set DTA, disallant assembly, on fixing tool. Attach the IG to the IP stand J60064. Adjust the upper range of J60064. Clean the end surface of the IG with lens paper. Clean the objective lens assembly as well. Insert IG into the barrel assembly, DEL, and attach it to DTA. Fasten IG tentatively. Adjust the tilt of the reticle of the microscope using the square gauge by observing the edge of it. The reticle center should be aligned temporarily to the fiducial mark of the IG mask. Clean again the objective lens for dart and foreign matter. Clean IG as well. Apply KE445B on the tip of IG. Make sure the tip surface by G is clean. Insert IG into DEL 
and apply K445B around DEL as well. The surface of DTA should be flush with DEL. The end of DEL must not be recessed. In case of UGIFP7, screw hole portion of DEL should be placed against LG. Each scope has its specified focusing adjustment method. Fasten DEL tentatively. Looking into J60064 and rotate the IG to obtain the erected image. Check for dirt and dust on the end of IG. Illuminate the IG through J60064. The microscope should be finely adjusted to each model. Looking through the microscope, focusing and image tilt should be adjusted. Completing adjustment, fasten the set screw and fix the IG. Apply K445B around IG and DEL. How to attach IG? Day by IG through the eyepiece portion. Pay attention not to fold IG. Rotate IG to get the image erected. Set the end of IG at the surface of the shaft. Fasten the set screw and fix IG to the shaft. Clean the surface of IG. Attach the iris with two screws.
mount CGA on the main body without twisting cables. Fasten two screws. Adjustment of the eyepiece lens assembly, EYP. Alignment of the mask position. Remove EYP. Remove the inner ring and attach eyepiece master jig, J32151. Set the scope to the jig, JA3009. The center of IG mask should be aligned to the scale of the jig, JA3009. Four screws are provided to adjust the mask location. Pay attention not to make the mask tilt severely. Adjustment of EYP focus. Attach the scope to the collimator, JA3006. Loosen the tilt set screw. Loosen the eyepiece collimation set screw to adjust EYP focus. Set the eyepiece focusing ring of J3006 at the white line. Fix the eccentric pin for tilt adjustment with a screwdriver and adjust focusing by rotating collimation adjustment eccentric pin. Fasten the set screw for tilt adjustment. Fasten the set screw for focusing adjustment. After fastening two set screws, make sure focus adjustment is OK at the white line, moving the focusing ring of JA3006. Attach the EYP and check for offset of the mask position, image tilt, focusing and vignetting of the camera. We now complete disassembling and reassembling of Fujinon 7 series fiber scopes. Let's explain how to repair EV scopes by the example of a colonoscope. Let's start from disassembly. When disassembling, be sure not to scratch the body or damage and lose any parts. Disassembly of the operating section, part one. First, peel off the label. Remove screws. Then put the screwdriver into the groove of the cover and remove it. Remove forceps opening valve. Remove lens flashing channel and water jet inlet by loosening two set screws respectively.
unscrew cap on top of the operating section. Unscrew the rubber ring and move it toward the distal end. Remove ring using a jig. Remove holding cover. Remove two holders. First smaller one. Loosen the screw and remove bigger holder together with spacer. Remove four screws. And then remove stoppers for up and down and right and left undulation. Disconnect the undulation wires which are screwed into sleeves. Please do not pull the sleeves out too much or they may get chinked. Pull out four angulation wires from the groove of guide. Be careful not to chink the wires. Loosen ring which secures water jet, water and air tube respectively. Remove rings and move taper ring back and disconnect the tubes. First, water jet. Then the water tube. and air tube. Please be careful not to damage the tubes. Take off all rings and put them aside lest they should be lost. Cut two grounding wires at the terminal. Unsolder the lead wires on the relay board from the camera head assembly 
CHA. This is the relay board unsoldered. Cut black wires at the joint which are connected to meshed shield of CHA and set of board cables. Disassembly of light guide connector. First procedure is to remove sleeve from guide. Loosen the set screw at the guide. Loosen two set screws and remove connector ring by rotating counterclockwise. Remove three screws. And gently pull out LG guide assembly. Make sure it can be extracted smoothly. Pull out LG from flexible section slowly and carefully. Be sure that the flexible section is set straight. Removal of forceps channel tube, FCT. Remove joint cover adjacent to FCT. Loosen ring which secures FCT. Remove fixing ring and move taper ring. Extract FCT by holding it through a piece of sandpaper. Keep aside both ring. Disassembly of operating section part two. Extract LG from operating section. Remove another joint cover. Remove four screws which secures operating and inserting section.
disassembly of inserting sections. Pull out inserting section slowly. Keep your eyes on the sleeves so that the undulation wires won't get stuck. After undulation wires come out, pull out the cable and light guide carefully. Disassembly of distal end assembly unit, DAU, from inserting section. Remove hood. Peel off a rawhide around the angle rubber. Fold back both ends of the rubber to expose soldered portions of the joint. Scrape off the solder with a sharp knife. Be careful not to damage the net. Apply several pinches on the joint softly to destroy thin layer of solder soaked under the joint. Twist the joint gradually and extract the inserting section. Do the same procedures for removing bending section from DAU. Disassembly of DAU. Remove screw with secure sleeve. Remove sleeve. Scrape off a rawhide applied around the tubes. Clean up a rawhide regardless of damaging tubes. Pull out AWT. Pull out 
WJT Pull out FCT finally Losing screw which secures CHA Peel off seating compound applied around CHA as clean as possible. Push the lens surface of barrel assembly with a wooden stick into distal end. Pull out CHA from distal end. Clean up distal end. Check for any seating compound remained inside holes of distal end. Let's take a break. Let's start with assembling procedures. The assembly. Assembly of distal end. Prior to assembly, make sure that CHA to be used can generate image. Solder a lead wire on the copper foil to be used for protection against the electrosurgical noise. Fold the foil to the size of CHA. Apply 5 minutes epoxy on the foil and CHA and hold it with a clip until epoxy cures. Attach WJT. Prior to attachment, sleeve should be cleaned and inlet of WJT should be widened a little bit. Insert WJT halfway and apply a rubberite. After application, 
WJT should be rotated so that araldite may be spread thoroughly. Hold WJT with a piece of sandpaper and insert it to full extent. Apply araldite again on WJT. Attach FCT. The same procedures as WJT can be applied, except using a guide bar. Final procedure is to attach AWT. Make sure these three tubes should be free of any damage and be bonded firmly. Apply seeding compound around barrel assembly. Insert it into distal end. Be sure not to apply any force except the inserting one. Set both surface of distal end and the window glass of barrel assembly flush. Fasten screw with a specified torque. Apply sealing compound around the distal end. Insert sleeve. Secure sleeve with two screws and apply a rawhide on the gap between distal end and sleeve. Assembly of inserting section. After rawhide is cured, apply molybdenum disulfide on the portion of DAU to be inserted into bending section. Assemble bending section onto DAU. Bending section should be assembled in such a way as up undulation is directed to up position. Apply flux on the area to be soldered. Solder two or three spots. Be careful not to solder adjacent to FCT. Excessive flux should be cleaned. 